Hey, what's up guys? I'm KBHD here. Welcome to the unboxing of the iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, and iPhone 11 Pro Max, all in their new green colors. So by the time you see this video, I will have been using the iPhone 11s for a couple days. Not quite long enough to give it my full review, but pretty close. So that's in the works and coming soon. But in the meantime, this is your first look at what comes in the box, which is actually different this time, and a sort of a second impressions at the phone itself. So first of all, the boxes. They are going back to different colored boxes again, which I dig. So iPhone 11s will have white boxes and iPhone 11 Pros will have matte black boxes. Last time we got this was, I believe, iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. But both will have the colored logos and the colored text. So inside the box, again, classic phone up top. And interestingly, the phone only has that peel off plastic on the front and not the back this time. I kind of thought this was maybe only because it's the matte phone, but even on the glossy iPhone 11, it has the plastic on just the front. Okay, so underneath the phones, they all come with uh, that little packet with two white stickers in it again. No fancy colored stickers, just the white Apple stickers. And then there's the lightning earphones again. So nothing special, no AirPods included in the box or anything wild for the price, just the lightning earpods. And then beside that, finally, here's what's new. There's an included 18 watt USB type C fast charging brick in the box, and then a USB type C to lightning cable. So this is the new default iPhone charging solution, the brick and the cable that you'll start to see everywhere. Why not just go USB type C all the way to the phone? I don't know, could just be a lightning licensing thing, kind of stubborn, but there you have it. The iPhone 11, however, the non-pro, still comes with the garbage, barely functional, five watt USB-A to lightning charger in that box. Disappointing, even if the phone is 700 bucks. But anyway, there you have it. That's the unboxing of the midnight green iPhone 11 Pro and all its matte finish glory the iPhone 11 Pro Max and its noticeably heavier self, and the glossy iPhone 11, looking very familiar. Green is a new color for all these new phones, and for some reason, maybe I'm just not seeing it, but everyone seems to love the greens. And so, you know, taking a closer look at it here in person in the studio, it's solid. I definitely don't hate it, but I'd still personally go for the space gray. But now that we have the greens here, let's take a closer look at this color. And for those of you still debating if you wanna get this color or not, you'll see it. So with the midnight green of the iPhone 11 Pro, I'd say it's slightly different from the green you see on the box. So the box kind of makes it look a little bit lighter, but it is in fact a bit more muted. Uh, in fact, if you put it on this color chart, you'd sort of expect it to be closest to this sort of military green, but as soon as you drop them next to each other, it's not. Matter of fact, it's actually closer to gray than green. Like it really is very subtle. And you do notice even when it's not next to another green surface, that it is not quite gray. It's just a, a little bit off of gray. Sometimes white is off white. This is like an off gray version of that. It's somewhat close to the olive green of the MKBHD merch tag tee I'm wearing with just a slight tint, but overall it definitely falls on the spectrum of like this classic camo green or military green sort of colors. Uh, the colorway of these shoes is called shadow camo. So if you happen to own them, here's a little comparison on how they look next to each other. Not too far off. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm just not a green person. I saw some mock-ups on Twitter of like a light blue iPhone Pro. That would have been kind of sick. Or even a matte product red iPhone Pro. That I would have loved. You know, Apple, if you're listening, if you want to do a six-month color refresh of the iPhone, please do a red. Please. Honestly, the closest match I have in the studio, which actually kind of blew my mind, even closer than the actual box, is this Ottoman footrest thing it's basically the exact same color as the iPhone. Like it's precisely the same color. So there you have it, the more you know. And then there is the iPhone 11, our much more familiar looking phone. So there's six new colors for the iPhone 11. This is one of them. And this is, it's definitely more of like a, a sea foam green or even like a minty green. Matter of fact, let's look up what Apple actually calls it. Let's see here, apple.com, go to iPhone, go to pre-orders and then colors, uh, green. They just call it green. So that's a pretty basic name, but I guess we'll compare it to other blue-green types of things in the area, the aqua colors. This phone color, along with the new purple and yellow iPhones, have way less everyday objects that are close to it in terms of color, 
uh, but I'd say that they're more like pastel -y in color, similar to the corner of this color chart. A lot of people noticed the Apple logo color on the badges at the event this year were aqua green colored, and that's a little darker than the phone as you can see, but I would have been really happy with the darker aqua as the iPhone color. I actually think it's a throwback to when Apple had that color in its logo and when they also had that old classic iMac with that back color, the clear plastic having that aqua green. Here are some other greenish phones that have existed over the past couple years, including the rare Nextbit Robin and the green half of the bikini case on the Galaxy S8 Plus. You know, all just a little bit different shades of aqua green. But ultimately the iPhone 11 box is the closest to the actual color of the phone. So if you see the box in the store or anywhere, you've seen basically the correct color. Uh, there's a lot of different combinations of blue and green colors used in phones over the past couple years, but there you have it. So that's it for this quick, fun video. Again, the full reviews are coming soon, so the comments section of this video is the perfect place to leave your questions or comments about what you wanna see in that full review. So if you have specific requests, things like battery life or feature testing or stuff you saw on the camera app or other videos that are out, let me know in the comments section below and I'll be sure to include the testing of that stuff. But either way, that's been it. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.